Ah, hello. Give me a second. I'm just listening to Sadhguru for the whole day. One second. Yeah? I, during my, um, whether it's my free time or not my free time, when I have uh, the ears open, I will always put on Sadhguru's uh, video. Because uh, different time of the day, he teaches me different things. Even though I think that I know uh, a lot, uh, learning have always been my passion. Maybe of late, I, I, I wanted to learn more because uh, in order to listen more, we have to learn more. It's not because I want to be smart or not because I um, think I want to be better than somebody else. Uh, we only need to be better than ourselves and that's most important thing. If you want to better anybody else, there is always a never-ending search of uh, your, real uh, your reality, who you want to be, where you want to go, and how you want it to end. So, do not be embarrassed by your needs. Do not be scared of uh, the unknown. Uh, yesterday, I was just doing a sharing. I cannot recall who I share this with. I think I, I share it with my team. You know, uh, culturally, parents love children, all their children. Well, most parents will. Uh, I, I won't comment about those that don't. Okay. Parents have the responsibility of bringing a child into the world, regardless of the situation. If you already decided to keep the baby, or you already decided, uh, despite whatever circumstances, you wanted to be a mother or a father, that decision had to be made long term. Uh, Creator, the Creator give us a very uh, passionate or I would say compassion feeling. It's just that when you are um, a mother, I don't know, I'm a mother. I love my daughter a lot. And uh, in order to love her well, I have to be very strict with her. When she was a baby, I used to talk to her as if I'm talking to an adult like I'm talking to you now. Uh, and I always use uh, my eyes to speak to her. Even when she was mm, one day old, I don't care how old she is, she is always the baby in my heart. And that is natural for parents who knows what they are, uh, what I'm saying. So even today that she can drive and go out and be responsible for her things, I still have the responsible uh, feeling. I still have the responsibility because I'm her mother. And that is where it stopped. Okay? In some of my videos, I mention about responsibility. The ability to respond. I used to be very much passion uh, not so very much i wouldn't use the word i'm very passionate about the advancement of my people or the people around me uh, as long as i am able to i will want to open their eyes to the world that they have such a wonderful place to grow and also even if their life is not good now they can turn it around uh, I am same. I came from a, you won't, I won't call it a broken home, but my parents gave me a lot of love. But it's not a normal home. But still a home to me now that I think back. There were times yeah, years back where I actually hated uh, my, my family or my mother specifically for how I was treated. But to think back, and to evaluate it again. Uh, of course, I share this with my daughter because whatever I feel, she will feel it too. 
so I I have a listening uh, partner in her. Uh, when I look back, I am thankful and grateful to her and my father. My father passed away about 20 years ago or 25 years ago, something like that. That they didn't give me everything. In fact, I have nothing. I have nothing at all. And then I worked very hard to go where I want to go. Uh, when I started that time, I always feel deprived of life that my life can be better, my life should be better, and my life, why is my life like that? But thankfully, through uh, meditation, and uh, often listen to gurus, uh, like my Chai Lao Si, my Mandarin, or the Chai Lao Si, and also uh, listen to Sadhguru uh, recently, uh, Add On Values, and also Rinpoche Mingyu, uh, and also a lot of uh, self-realization uh, that I can be better than I am what I am now only if I look into my weakness. Nobody else can do that for me. Nobody else who love me enough can do anything for me except myself. The me start with me. Uh, myself. To say that it's a easy journey, I will be lying through the teeth. But I must say it's a grateful and a full of gratitude uh, journey that I went to. There were times that I don't have food on the table. There were times when I was working in a hotel, I worked 24 hours just to make sure that my job is done properly because I have no knowledge of my next uh, task and I'm not educated in the university so I always feel that I am below a lot of people the only way I feel that I can actually get up is to work harder than any other um, anyone else which is true in a sense because uh, that that kind of thoughts gave me a platform to look forward to how to improve myself. Uh, I am, uh, I just completed my Form 5 in Malaysia. You, you have to compulsory to study uh, six years in primary and five years in secondary. After that, I do not have any education, but with every little money that I have, I go and improve myself. And during my time, there is no video, there's no tutorial online, there's no virtual, and nobody wants to help you. Uh, it's not that they don't want, maybe, maybe they don't want to help, or maybe they don't even know how to help because uh, everybody is fighting for survival. Imagine that 30 years ago. Obviously, the past 10 years have been a good uh, at, 10 or 15 years, it was good years. There were times when I was working for companies and then I always treated the company as if it belongs to me. That, that's why I closed a lot of doors because people thought that uh, I could be a mistress to the bosses. La. I could be a mistress to this one and that one uh, because honestly, years back, I'm much prettier than now. I'm matured over time. But I'm glad that I'm what I am. I didn't fall into the trap of vices. Though at times during that period, I could have. Because when I stayed in Malacca that time, I was sexually abused. And uh, at that era, it's a shameful thing to say. Uh, because people think that you are enticing. But at that time, I was only standard 4 or standard 5. Uh, well, luckily, I guess I was not raped. That is the blessing. Sexually, abuse can be very sickening. And at the age where you wanted 20 cents or 30 cents, or you don't even know what sex is all about, you just take it as a norm and uh, at that time i was staying in kampong jawa kampong jawa 
uh, uh, during my era, it used to be the place where all the vices is happening, from opium, drugs, uh, prostitutions. You know, it's the slum area of Malacca. Of course, now is is uh is totally different. It's such a clean place now. Even if I walk back, I always uh, give my thanks that I have that beginning. Though I'm not grateful for the sexual or the abuse, uh, the sexual abuse that happened there, but God must be watching. Uh, otherwise, I won't be here. I won't be here talking to you. Uh, so, whatever you, the new generation now have, is the best that you can have. But many people don't realize that, which is quite sad, right? Therefore, I always feel that I am responsible to make sure that the people around me grow well like a tree in the forest, free and happy, breathing in new air, having all the sunshine and braving the storm. This is where I went wrong. Because when a person do not see what is their problem or what is their issue, no matter how hard I try, it's not going to change anything. So Sadhguru taught me a very valuable uh, lesson in his inner engineering. I'm thankful that he offered the inner engineering at 150 ringgit during the MCO time. And I just need to spend uh, 90 minutes of 7 days. Now I feel it's a bit too, too little. Yeah, I'm making my plan to go for a full day in the Isha Foundation because I need to find out more what I can unlock in order to shine from inside out. So why I'm saying this today and open up to tell you guys is that don't ever lose hope. The day you lose hope is the day you don't know where you are going. So don't worry, you know. Go and look for a mentor, someone who wants to listen, or go and look for a coach. And uh, the beauty part of it, coaching culture have become a respected culture by many management. If you are going for a promotion, you will always go into some place which is unknown. It's good. Don't fear it. Just take the opportunity to learn. You will never fall back. If you fell and then you hurt, always look back. What you have today compared to years back, are you improving? Are you uh, advancing? Are you doing something different? Yeah, ask yourself questions like that and you will know that it's not easy to be what you are today. The road is going to be tougher too but if you have passion like me i have passion in coaching because i can see every time i coach someone it's always wonderful for me to share and if you have passion in your industry regardless of what even through rubbish or garbage it's always all about passion you will see the beauty in your production and people will also notice it you don't need to go around blowing horns and say that, oh, I did this, I did that. I know, because I was that person. I still am. But every time I do it, I just tell myself again what I want to achieve. It's just my achievement to show people that they can be better than me. And they can help more people to be better than them then this world will be a better place for your children, for your generation, and for the world, world, worldwide people. We cannot do a lot of things, but we can do 1% of changes per day. So decide what you want to do, the 1%, and you will be just fine. Don't worry. You will be 100% better than the day before. Till then, take care. 
Stay healthy and love you all. Bye.